Hey everyone, it's me Jeff here again showing just a couple straggler things that I picked up in my local stores and the story behind at least one of them. So this is just, uh, I don't know, again I was, <clears throat> some of those bands that are kind of under the radar didn't know a whole lot about but in a previous video a few videos ago uh, when we went out of town um, and was coming back through North Carolina and I picked up this Shy album or in this case Shy England. Um, and again, I didn't know a whole lot about them, I, but I bought it mainly just based on the looks. It's late 90s, I mean late 80s, so it looks like, you know, typical 80s hair slash sleeves slash that kind of glammy type stuff. So I picked this up. Turned out to be a really good album. I mean, you know, it's it's uh, it's in that kind of a melodic sweet spot um, of good stuff. So, uh, overseas band. So I knew... So when I went in to log that into Discogs, I looked at their back catalog and said, oh, that's the same band Shy, that says Shy England, but that's the same band Shy that I saw at my other local store in town uh, had their first album. I never bought it because it looked interesting, but it looked like a bunch of people on the front, you know, with t-shirts on and just, I was like a low budget thing. So didn't pay much attention to it, but I knew they had it there. I'd seen it. Um, and I thought, well, this is the same band. They just, you know, have gotten hair and costumes now. So I thought, well, at some point I want to go back to that store. And I didn't make it there the week after we got back. And anyway, so I was like, well, eventually I'll make it down there. I'm sure nobody bought it, but it's there. While we were out on my birthday, birthday shopping at the other local store in town, as we're kind of wrapping up, I'm going through the $4 bin, the closeout, the the, just the cheapy stuff and, and ran across this another album by shy excess all areas so um this is the album before that one so they changed to shy england by that point this is when they were just shy they're on rca records and also i realized I, when i went back after a while and looked at it, the singer tony mills has went on to do quite a few other bands but he spent about half i don't know five half a dozen years or so in tnt in the 2000s era so there's a handful of albums there in the years in the 2000 years where he's the singer so tony mills if you're familiar with him he's done some other bands uh that are of less notoriety as far as you know that i know so but yeah so i was like interesting so this kind of reminded me i need to go back to that other local record store to see that other album um but this one was in the cutout bin or not cutout bin just the markdown bin um for four dollars i thought well that's cool i would grab that well that of course burned me on to push to get back on the other side of town and so we went ahead later that day to the other side of town and they sure enough had that now i looked this album up and i was like wow if i tried to order it online the cheapest one in the u.s was like forty dollars it's not been released in the u.s this is a uk issue only and it's only been released on, you know, one vinyl pressing and then a couple CD versions that came out later. So even that, I mean, you know how there's some other country versions, there's other pressing plant versions, multiple versions. There's just one version. It's on Ebony Records. And anyway, I'm like, well, I'm not paying 40 bucks for it. So I don't know how much it's going to be at my local store. But if it's more than 20, I probably am going to question whether I'm going to buy it or not. Because, you know, it's a novelty, but it's not something that I have to have. Uh, so I went down there, and I flipped through right where I remember seeing it in the section it was, and there it was. And see, this is what I was talking about. See, the guys, it just looks like a garage band. They just, they got uh, T-shirts and stuff. And, you know, even though the singer does have some makeup or something on there, you can see in later albums they really, you know, glam up the image more. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of looked at it and thought, this is cool, but it didn't tell me a whole lot about the band. And then coming apart. But anyway, so, and the vinyl was in really good condition and it was under $20. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get it. So that gives me the first, third, and fourth album by this band, Shy, leaving me on the hunt for the second album. And they do have some albums beyond that. Shy went on to do a handful of albums into the 90s. And then, like I said, then the singer and people went on to do other bands and other projects. So, so that was cool. That was kind of my own little birthday purchase while I was there. While I'm continuing looking uh at the other store continuing looking through the four dollar bin i found the first second second rubicon album 
Um, I have the first. Rubicon has two albums. They had like one big hit back in the day, like in 78 or so. Um, and then they only put two albums out and then fizzled. If you're not familiar with Rubicon, you might recognize a couple faces there. Uh, right there in the middle with the glasses is Jack Blades of Night Ranger. And then right, oh, two people over in the red is uh, Brad Gillis of Night Ranger. So this is the band that the two of them were in before later in the 80s moving over and forming or being a part of the uh, Night Ranger group fame. These guys are funk soul, uh, kind of remind me of Santana at some points, just lots of instrumentation, lots of percussion, lots of uh, stuff all over the place. California band that are all over the place. But you know, kind of like that completest thing, I wanted to get their second album. I saw a copy of this album at the store in North Carolina last week when we were there, whenever that week, week or two we were there, where I bought the Shy album. They had this album in the half a price bin, but you know, because I bought so much, I turned it down and then I go over here and I get it, you know, in the $4 bin and it's in great condition, great condition. So that's the thing. All of these records are really good. A couple of them had some fingerprints. I came home, polished them up, did a little mild cleaning. Now, while I was at the other local store to get the first Shy album, I kept flipping and I found some other things of interest for just, you know, in the $10 range. Tony OK, uh, Romeo Unchained in the shrink, but the shrink, it's opened, but it's got the uh, hype sticker, JC, see that? Anyway, I had this album, 1986, What Records, uh, Tony OK, uh, I don't know a whole lot about his history. I bought one of his earlier albums at that same store. I got this one. I bought one of the, his earlier albums from the 70s, I think it was, or maybe it was from the very early 80s. And I didn't like it as much. I had this album in 1986. Really liked it. It's a little more commercial. A little more on the poppy side. Um, kind of quirky at times. And stuff along that line. So when I saw this, I grabbed it. I had this on CD at one point. But I think I gave it to somebody or let it go. Um, Singer, songwriter type guy. Fun stuff. And uh, you, you know, he's... I don't know how much of a splash he made. He had another album after this about uh, something about Lost Civilization or something. So... I'm on the lookout for that one. But the ones prior to this, it just seems like at least the pieces I've heard, I didn't like as much. So um, anyway, I picked up Tony OK. That was an excellent condition. And then I found a copy of Girl School Hit and Run. So again, this one was not too expensive and it was in really great condition. This one had some fingerprints and I it polished right up perfectly. This is the Stiff Records edition. There were a couple of versions out there, a couple of different labels. And this is the uh, the U.S. version. So... Yeah, found that in the same bin with the other shy thing, so went ahead and grabbed that. Fun stuff. That was it, though, at the uh, local shopping. That was kind of like the post-side birthday project stuff, things that I picked up while I was out and about shopping for that. So that's it for this one. No, thanks a lot for watching. Rock on and rock hard.